Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gents, and welcome back to Ostriv Alpha 4 and our No Outsiders Challenge. In the first year, we just about managed to get everyone into a home. Uh, we had to build these three simple ones just so we didn't lose people. We have another few that are being built, but we have a few more slightly pressing matters to complete. Um, our carts are all well, nearly worn out, so we can't uh, we can't fix them. We have run out of nails, which we are completing. People are going to work. That's fine. We run out of nails, but they are being built, and we are building our carpentry so that we can fix our carts when we need to, and also make more of them. However. The big, 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 big problem with the No Outsiders challenge is iron ore. Well, iron more specifically than iron ore, but iron, yeah, that's our, that's our problem. Because in Alpha 4, there is no way that I can work out to get iron or iron ore without trading. You can do it in Alpha 5 because I've seen the pictures on the on the devs Twitter of the iron ore mines. So you can do it in Alpha 5, so when that comes out we'll be absolutely fine. But in Alpha 4, which is what we are in right now, you cannot get, as far as I can tell, you cannot get iron or iron ore without trading. If anyone knows a way of doing it, please let me know down in the comments because I will 100% do it that way. But we have 500 left in there and we've got... a just over 400 left in there and once we run out i'm hoping i'm going to have made some sort of trading thing i don't know whether i'll do it by land or by sea but i will completely if we have to trade for it i will completely restrict myself to just trading for iron and then if we find other materials that we need that we literally can't get in game without trading for them we'll have to do that as well because you can't you can't play this game without iron it's just a, it's just a no-go because you need iron for nails and without nails you can't build buildings so not having any iron is just a complete no-go so we've got that on hold we have that on hold because there's no nails uh is there stuff there that they can be doing okay you can't do anything because you're waiting for nails so let's put some construction onto that so at least they can be doing something. I don't understand, you have a char not enough charcoal. Oh, okay. That's an issue. Right, in that case, should we make a second charcoal pit? That might be worth it. I'll just tuck it in there. Again, I'll probably move it later, but I will just chuck it in there for now. That'll do nicely. Right, are there any people on that? Yes, we can get you off that. We don't need that right now. Are there any people on our farm? No, just a manager. That's fine. People on forestry. Uh, do you want to go back to forestry? We might actually be needing you in a moment here. Are they actually doing anything? Oh, yeah, they're, they're taking resources to the, the building site. Okay, nice. I can live with that. Uh, obviously to get more construction options and everything like that we need a town hall but that's a bit uh, that's a bit over <laughs> over our reach currently <laughs> so obviously we've got four houses here to build with their with their gardens we've got three people here that we need to move out into proper houses and then eventually when all these trees are gone we'll put more stuff here we have still our fishing dock and our shipyard somewhere where did i put the shipyard boatyard not shipyard boatyard it's right next to the other ones okay so we are not a million miles off of anything really it's just kind of a waiting game until that charcoal's ready okay that's out of right let's just do everything we can okay no no don't do that don't do that don't take it from another construction site. That's absolutely pointless. Well, in that case, if we're waiting for stuff, let's take... Let's just have one builder on there. Let's get some guys doing that, making some wood. We'll have three on that, and then we'll have three on the construction. Then at least we're doing something. And I think in March is field planting time. <laughs> I think in March is field planting time. So we need a windmill to create flour. We've got tons and tons of potatoes. Uh, we've sold a fair amount. 
of stuff. We've sold a fair amount of firewood. I haven't really sold any potatoes. Maybe it's just because people don't need them. Yeah, maybe it's just that people don't need them. Do we need to make another well? No, we don't. That's absolutely fine. Okay, both of those are going nicely. That charcoal pit's nearly finished. I don't think we can do anything until that charcoal pit's finished, really. Hey, we are complete. Make them nails. That's enough wood for now. And now we can get back on with building. Right, here we go. We are getting into summertime. Right, so let's take you off of there. We should have enough people to plant the crops. I suppose we could do a field of buckwheat, couldn't we? So, carpenter is done, but at the moment, because we're um, sowing the fields, we don't really have enough bodies to do it. Um, oh, we do have someone working on the Uh It kind of... Uh, trying to be a sticker about it but kind of I'm, I'm hoping it kind of needs to be a woman because I need the guys for construction uh, we are now building the boatyard which is a kind of a plus I, can't, I I wish we had been able to get the boatyard done during the winter so that we could build boats during the winters because we're missing the fishing season but it didn't happen so it didn't happen so at least we're doing it now and we should in theory be done before fishing season finishes so it's not completely game over um obviously because that field's quite far away it's taking quite a lot of time commuting time to uh to get it done but i think it'll be worth it uh, now obviously we can't make sunflowers into sunflower oil just yet because we don't have the resource capacity to do it but eventually it'll be there it'll, it'll, it'll work eventually uh you can Go and do something else because they're going to take a while to grow and i can keep an eye on them myself so that's not too difficult we just need to get that filled sowed which is half done jeez it's because it's so far away and it's so big and we are supplying as best we can for the boatyard we're not running out of anything wood wise nails are being built as fast as they can oh it's just wood we need and we can't move it because of the carts gotcha we need someone to go and fix the carts so we can start using them again that's why we're being so slow at the moment i wish you could allocate people rather than just going to random jobs but it is what it is i still love the game whatever <laughs> i still absolutely love this game so we've got anyone in there yet no we haven't Arrgh. yes we do not enough metal parts for a repair they are making metal parts though and not enough charcoal again. Well, that's easy. You can just go and get that yourself. <laughs> or get a labourer to do it. Ah, you can't. Oh, bugger. That's why. I have set that up completely wrong. You can't. I didn't have it set so the labourers could do it. God damn it. And there's no kids old enough to be in the school. So there's pointless having that. Right, you can just solidly work then now. Let's not have, we'll have laborers do all that work for you. And that's fine, not enough wood for repair, but that's coming in. We're going to grab one of the carts. No, you're taking a rest because you're lazy. <laughs> right, I've got kind of parity at the moment with people looking for work and actual working. So we're doing fine, all right. We're doing fine at the moment. Ah, I need you to work. So it does make a difference. Education one out of five, it does make a difference. I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. So I might actually be able to find... I might actually be able to find uh, bottlenecks of where people are working. That's really interesting. I like that. I've never... I never knew that was a thing. I find, I find simple things like that. I guess it's their pathfinding more than anything. Okay, so now he's taking stuff and now the carts can be used again. Yay. Let's get someone in there so that you can start. Actually, we can have laborers can start filling that stuff up. Awesome. Okay, let's take you off of that. And laborers can just keep that fed. Don't have enough food variety. Yeah, well, there's really not much I can do about that until I have built a fishing dock, I'm afraid to say. Uh, let's just max out on them because that's where we need everything at the moment. That's growing, that's growing, that's growing. That's growing nicely, perfect. 
Uh, I just hope they won't move out, is, is all I can say. I think we do need someone on... Yes, you can actually, know, let's have that and you can fill that up while, while I'm waiting for that. And then as soon as the fishing dock's created, we can get someone building a boat. And hopefully these people won't move out before then. <laughs> yeah, there's not much you can do with flour and potatoes, is there? Yeah. Maybe I should have had a third farm to... S third field to start with and I should have had buckwheat going. Whoop. It's a daisy. Oh well, it is what it is. We've done it now. Nothing, we can't go back. It'd just be a pain in the ass if they move out because it will really, really hurt us because we won't be able to get another family in until someone's kids grow up. <laughs> Which is only going to happen year by year. That's, that's crazy, the thought process that that's only going to happen year by year. That's the only way we're going to expand our, our population is when people have children. That's what it's going to be. It's legit, that's what it's legit going to be. So, like, they are not going to have children. Well, they're going to move out and maybe and meet someone else's kid in, what, like another, I don't know, 10 years time-ish? 12 years time-ish? Is there anyone else their age? Yes, there's a boy there. <laughs> God, we're becoming like, we're becoming like matches within our village. So they'll be at the same age at the same time. And then we've got a massive gap to a four-year-old and a five-year-old. Are they male or female? Male. I'm, I'm simply going by haircuts because the images are so small that I can't tell. Five-year-old and a four-year-old. And then we have nothing between like two and one. Jeez. That's, uh... This, this actually throws in a lot of a lot of dynamics to this game when you try and do this. I genuinely, I didn't think this far through when I was actually doing it, but now I'm actually doing it, I'm realizing a lot of things. Like when you have this, a realistic settlement going like this in this day and age, when you maybe don't have migration and you only have the population of the village to do what you need to do, you do get quite limited on, on what you can actually do. Oh, we've run out of wood. I'm going to make some more thatch. We'll need that in a minute. Now, I will actually... Uh, I will always build one more house than I'm actually needing. Because if someone needs to move out and they don't have anywhere to go, I don't know if they leave the settlement. So I don't... I cannot risk that happening. I literally cannot risk that happening. So I will always have one more building housing than I actually need. We need to build more houses anyway because we need to move these three people out. Three people out to their own place um because that's the only way they're going to get i think a variation of food is if they're making it themselves and growing it themselves which completely makes sense because they can do all kinds of uh fruits and vegetables and stuff in their own garden but not if they've only got plants outside their front door it kind of doesn't work don't get me wrong looks very very pretty not practical at all <laughs> not practical in any sense at all and we're gonna have quite a few more that are complaining about lack of food diversity or very var variety lack of food variety in a moment because when they run out of milk when they run out of fish when they run out of sallow i think that is yep uh they've got quite a way to go and they have quite a way to go with the milk but it's not going to be it's not going to be a huge amount of time before we have a second one so i think it's going to be one of those two depending on how quickly they eat their resources so we are making flour lovely we we might honestly we might as well turn all of the wheat into flour we're not gonna i can't think of anything else we're going to be using it for so we might as well turn it all into flour fishing dock is nearly completed we can max you out again, that's fine. Do you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of you for the moment because I don't think there's anything you can actually do that's going to help me. Could do the second person in there though. You might want to go and do that job. Oh no, you're going to be on the you're going to be on that already, aren't you? Because I've maxed that out. Right, we'll cancel that down until we've got another work on the smithy because we're running out of nails fast. Well, we're using nails faster than we can make them, so we need a second person on there. Uh, there should be one guy looking for a 
job. Yep, there you go. You've gone onto that. Perfect. Right, we can max that out again. It happens as fast as you can send nails there, basically. Thing. Unfortunately, I don't think women can do be workers in carpentry. Unfortunately. But, is what it is. Right. We're going to put the boatyard next to there so we have the second one going. Literally, as soon as that is built, we need... <laughs> We need orders. I'm gonna put someone in there to see if I can. Can I order without someone being in there? That is the question that I need answered at the moment. Because if we can, we can just stick someone in the um, in the boatyard and no one in the fishing dock until the can't do dried fish because we can't produce salt. We'll probably do some type of storage, but it's really not a priority at the moment. Uh, we also need someone to. Sure. Uh, right. Let's just have one person on there because we need stuff happening. I need a person to build a goddamn boat. <laughs> How difficult is it to have someone building a goddamn boat? Where are people being hired? Ah, uh, right. Take you off. There's loads of people on there. Thank you. Finally. Right. I will build another don't know where it is. Genuinely don't know where they are. Where are they? Trade and transport. That would make sense. Oh, that's what. Oh, okay. Please don't tell me you have to build these. Oh, God, you do. <laughs> right. Uh, where can I squeeze one in? I, can I demolish you? No, I can't because I need to relocate the guards first. Oh, God. Uh, right. Prioritize that. And then we do need another one. We really, really do need another one. So we need quite a few we're gonna need quite a few carts i'm gonna be honest we're going to need quite a few where can i stick it that's not gonna be really really annoying i want to stick it right there but i can't because the other one's there <laughs> i can be an absolute arsehole and do that Ugh. right i'm about to be an arsehole this will move i promise you it will move it will not stay there i promise now, in the time it's going to take them to build the four carts from that, they then have space to build other stuff. So that's fine. Uh, I do need people back on it because otherwise we're not going to make any progress at all. One boat completed. Good job. Someone go fish. Quite literally. You cannot do anything at the moment. So I'm waiting for carts being built. Maybe we should let them stock up on, on nails so that we only need one person in there that would make sense that would make sense let's let them stock up to be fair how many have we gone how much have we gone? oh we've gone through a half well no like 150 jeez okay we've gone through like 150 in half a year so that's 300 per year and we've got 500 ish 650 so we've literally got two years worth so we've got this year yeah so by the end of by mid 2024 we have to have built a trading dock i think it's gonna have to be a trading dock because the uh, i think the, the i think the trading trading which is more expensive that on clay by far but on wood there are only about a thousand difference but that's, that doesn't matter that's less on like 20 less on nails so yeah it's cheap on clay by massive amounts but everything else is reasonably the same then we'll build a trading dock anyway because i'd rather have a trading dock than a trading outpost i think i feel like you get more options with a trading dock as well right start selling the fish so that you will stop complaining. <laughs> How are we backed up on nails now? We're not doing too bad. We are not doing too bad. That will go away quickly though. That will go away very, very damn quickly indeed. Uh, need that transferred. Need that transferred so that I can get rid of that cart parking whenever anyone's free. Thank you very much. Bingo. And we are gone. Oh, it's because that cart's being used. Ah, okay. I get it. That can be empty, that's fine. What is our main focus now? I think it's gonna have to be the houses. So we can leave him to fish. We'll try and get a second person on it if we can. 
That's fine on wood. That's fine on nails, so get rid of him. We need one the carpentry to make more. And then everything else is just on construction. And then we'll build the other... Actually, I'm not sure if a second fishing dock is even worth it. Because can we afford six people fishing? I'm not sure we can. I think that might actually be a waste of resources. Because we're not going to be able to use it. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I am, I'm going to hold off on that. Right, he's hired by that. So can we get a woman in there? Because if we can get a woman in there, that will be a lot better. Not going to lie. We're still growing, so we've got a while to go yet. Oh, a lot of people just bought stuff. <laughs> Wood's going... Uh, we probably need two people back on that as well. Don't think we can get a woman in the windmill. Which doesn't really make sense. If I'm being honest. It doesn't really make sense to me. But whatever. I would have thought that would be like non-labour intensive enough for a woman to do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I can understand like the construction and stuff like that. But, and like, you know, building boats and repairing carts and, you know, I can, the nail stuff. I can understand that. But making flour? Really? I forgot to order them. That's why he's not doing anything. That would make sense. Right. Demolish that. Wonderful. That's gone. That's one more thing we don't have to worry about. Yes, this we are going to go ahead and demolish. Because we don't need that. We do not need it. Right, after these two houses, what's our next objective? Because we still need to get rid of a bunch of trees for them to work. Once that house is built, I'm going to get rid of this guy. Because then you can move into there. You can demolish that. Actually, do you want to demolish that to create that? Because then it will just give you all the materials. That makes more sense. I think it'll give you all the materials. Will it, will it give all? Yeah, it will. Yeah, it does give it back a bunch of materials. Oh, that's awesome. I like that. Probably doesn't give back all the materials, but I would imagine it gives back enough. Right, the problem is no one's looking for a job, which means people are hired somewhere. It's not there. Oh. <laughs> it is the laborers. Jesus, Christ. Right, okay, that, that's a, yep, yeah, that's a thing. 